we saw the tandem of Lou and Trez um, at their best. Uh, I thought the second quarter they took over and they established their dominance and bled all the way through the game. And, and those same two was the guys that finished it for us and uh, put us on their backs, won the game for us. Um, <clears throat> special all around on offense. Uh, Paul, even though you, you missed a short amount of time, how is it you're able to get into such a great rhythm uh, out there? I mean, you look like, you know, just like, like you missed no time at all. Well, I felt good. I felt good. Uh, <clears throat> the past three games, um, starting with the Sacramento game, I, I start to feel back myself with reads and, and timing and rhythm. Um, I just didn't make shots that night. so. All of that felt good all the way leading up into this point and, and you know, going into this now it was just about taking my time. I know what shots I'm gonna get and I'm not gonna get to those shots. So it's just take my time now. Paul, um, Doc said he loved the resolve of your guys' team tonight when you guys were able to come back the early deficit. What did you see? We just we got stops. That was it. We just played defense, we got stops. Um Lord Trez made it happen in that second quarter. That's all that happened. Paul over here. This was a game where they, your team needed your offense. What were your thoughts when you fouled out uh, with still a lot of time left on the clock? Um, again, what makes this team so great and unique? Um, I could be off the floor. Kawhi could be off the floor, and we still got two guys that can close games. Um, I mean, I trusted them. I think everybody trusted those two, and. Um, you know, it was, it, was, it was almost like they locked in um, down that stretch. And um, they made every big play in basket that we needed. Um, Paul, over here, uh, you guys get a chance to uh, get a couple of days off, you know, get in the gym and um, have some practice time. Uh, what are some things that you think need to be some points of emphasis for you guys to improve upon? Um, I think just us being on the floor, like we, we got to get after it. We got to play. We got to learn. Um, you know, these cleanups that we have in game needs to be done in practice. Um, so I think we just challenge each other. Um, you know, use those practice days to challenge each other, and um, you know, sharpen and sharpen us up. Um, a much needed bounce back game. Um, what, um, what's the energy in the locker room right now? What's our energy? Yeah, our uh, energy is great. Our uh, energy is great. got the win that we needed, uh, regardless of how the game played out. Uh, we took care of business at, on our floor at home, which uh, we should be expecting to do, um, so if we don't do it, um, you know, there's just going to be a change going into the next one. Paul, I think it's safe to say yesterday was a bit of an embarrassing effort with the fans going and getting up 140. What were, I guess, some of the I guess, conversations among the players coming out of that game leading up to tonight? Today? Uh, I was just play better defense. Um, that's all you can say. Talk more, communicate, play better defense. Um, and, you know, <clears throat> we, we think at the end of the day, it just comes down to communication. Uh, I think we need more of that. Paul, obviously, Pat's energy and, and it's instigator <laughs> Ability is welcome, but how about him as sort of an organizer on offense? What does what does he bring in that regard? Uh, Pat brings, you know, he's he does a lot of great things, um, a lot of great things that, again, he doesn't get credit for in, in the stat sheets or when you look at stats. But he just does so much great stuff. Um, you know, his his willingness uh, to give himself up every possession. You know, whether it's screening, whether it's cutting. Um, or whether it's just making the right plays. You know, he, he gives himself up. Prime example, he had corner three where he's wide open, but, you know, he swung it to another person that was wide open. Um, you know, you, you can't say enough about what he brings and his value towards his team. This moment in the second quarter when Jerome dove on the floor for a loose ball and a bunch of guys came over to him, kind of tapped on the head. It seemed like something that was lacking from yesterday's game. From mm -hmm. Was that a an area felt like it improved significantly from yesterday to today, just hustle in general. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, a guy like Rome, that's he's got he's got to bring us that energy. Um, you know, when 
someone's lacking it, uh, we need it from somebody else. Uh, and, and that just ignites us. Um, I thought him doing that ignited us. Um, you know, he had a great stretch where his defense alone, his pressure uh, changed the game for us. Um, you know, he, he came in and, you know, <clears throat> again, he's another, that stretch that he played didn't look great on the stat sheet, but you watch the game, you see his, his pressure and his, you know, ability just to get to the ball was, was huge. Hey, Paul, understanding that you guys have had some injuries and missed practice, et cetera, about how long does it take from your experience for the team to kind of come together and understand what your full potential might be? When is that mark? Is that after All-Star break? Is that March? When do you feel that might be? Yeah, you can't put a timetable on that. Um, you know, every team comes together at different times. Um, you can't really put a time frame on that one, to be honest. Um, I think what you want to do is, is, is use these games to get better going forward. <clears throat> you know, I would hope we'd be a better team in April than we are in, you know, December or January. You know, like it's, it's just no timetable to that. Um, but, you know, we got to use these games going forward and these steps going forward uh, to get to that team we want to be come down and coming, you know, to April. So, um, not really a timetable. Can't put, put no time on that. Hey, Paul, the, the Clipper franchise has been around a long, long time, and, and as was pointed out earlier, you did something today that had never been done before with the three guys over 30. Uh, how significant achievement is that, and to be a part of it? You're, you're one of the three. It was good. I mean, I've been a part of some cool stats. I've been a part of 40 with Kawhi, uh, two players of 40, a uh, trio of 30s. Uh, it was good. It's a great accomplishment, a great achievement. Um, let's get more nice like it. All right, last question. Uh, Paul, over here. Uh, Doc said the other day that it feels like you guys haven't played your best <coughs> game since Christmas against the Lakers, kind of been a little bit up and down. What are some of the things you see that you guys feel like you need to work on this week? And how big is this week? I mean, I know it's just like a couple practices, but you guys haven't had any practices and time to kind of heal up and get to know each other. How big does this week kind of feel? Uh, it's a great week for us. I don't know, week. big week, but it's a great week for us. Great opportunity uh, to maximize that practice. Uh, you know, and I mean, coach is right. You know, we, we haven't played the best, um, and I don't think he's saying from an offensive standpoint, but just an overall um, standpoint, we haven't played well overall. Since that Lakers game, I mean, that Lakers game, we were locked in. We might not have shot the ball well. We might have had, uh, you know, good moments and possessions. But you know, at any point of that game, we felt we felt we were going to lose. Uh, you know, and, and that's just how we got to go out every game. Um, you know, it's just it's no way we should lose. We need to have that mentality. Um, and and I think that's that's what's going to be the biggest thing for this group. Team is different, but with this team, I think that's that's got to be the fine line. We're not gonna lose. All right, thank you. Thank you.